just got out of airport already and now I'm just waiting for my ride yeah the guy should be coming anytime soon so let's see what the rest of the day has for us so, catch you later So we've already reached back home and I've already changed my clothes and everything. So now we are going to head towards Anzac Memorial and should be around 20 minutes away. We're gonna meet up with a friend over there. Doggy. Lots of dogs around. You know what the funny thing just now was? I actually got home and I'm not used to the locking system over here. So what happened was uh, I put a key on the table, I packed everything, I went out, I left the key on the table and I just locked the main door. I didn't lock the main door, sorry, I closed the main door. The problem was I did not expect that the key was needed to open the door again. So it's not like back home where you have to actually close the door and then you lock it. When you, when you close the door, it automatically locks. So I locked myself out of the house. So now I'm walking to Anzac Memorial just to meet out my friend so that I can get the key from her. So we finally reach the Anzac Memorial and the Anzac Memorial is over there. So far, first impressions is it's like a city but it's also like you can do recreational stuff over here. Yeah, I mean I, I can see people like over there just, I don't know if you can see but it's just lying down on the grass over there. It's not something you can do back in Beijing or back in KL like that uh, there's my friend over there she's actually just waiting for me uh, so hopefully I can get the key from her from her and then we can go back home hi Zap <laughs> over here's my friend Sabrina she has been with me in uni for the first two years she's in civil and mechanical so we only spent like two years I'm electrical uh, sorry yeah, electrical. That that look of disappointment in her face. <laughs> so yeah, she'll be the one bringing me around. I'm just gonna get my Opal card first. So Opal is like a card where you use, you can reload it and then you can use it for public transport. Okay, touch and go. Yeah, it's like it's like a touch and go. Hey, you know what I always thought? What? And they, they claim all oh, people in Sarawak go by boat. People in Sydney go by boat all the time, no one They is. go by ferry. Ours is by boat. Like, we literally have to use a small boat with a motor behind. Okay, do you use water transport? But they do that here as well. But you don't have kampongs here. It's different. <laughs> You are a no, city. No. We are the city now. Yes. Trust me, there are kampong. You're talking about like separate, like is it? Separate. No, replace because you say you can't finish, right? <laughs> So yes, people in Sydney are very friendly. Anyway, let's go for our calamari. It ain't complete if you don't have a video of the Opera House when you visit Sydney.
now having lunch. Well, I think it's lunch. It's already 12 something. You're having your granola, is it? So this is having a granola. I'm having my sausage roll. And right behind us, it's the Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. <laughs> 